this class we work out five problems on electric power plants problem number one water for a hydroelectric station is obtained from a reservoir with the head of 150 meters calculate the electrical energy generated per hour per cubic meter of water if the hydraulic efficiency be 0.86 and electrical efficiency 0.92 therefore overall efficiency is equal to 0.86 into 0.92 that is equal to 0.79 that is the first step h is given 150 meters discharge q is given 1 meter cube per second weight of water available per second that w is equal to q into 1000 into 9.81 in newtons so q is 1 1000 into 9.81 that is equal to 9810 newtons power produced is equal to weight of water per second w into h into overall efficiency overall efficiency is 0.79 w is equal to 9810 h is 150 that is equal to 1162.49 kilowatts so energy generated per hour that is this is in watts we have to convert into energy so that is that into time here one hour per hour therefore 1162.49 into 1 that is equal to 1162.49 kilowatt hour so the electrical energy generated per hour per cubic meter of water is equal to 1162.49 kilowatt hour Problem 2 An atomic power reactor can deliver 400 megawatt If due to fission of each atom of uranium 235 The energy released is 200 million electron volt Calculate the mass of uranium fission per hour First step is energy received from the reactor That is equal to 400 megawatts 400 into 10 power 6 that is equal to 4 into 10 power 8 megawatts the second step is energy received per hour that is equal to 4 into 10 power 8 into 3600 that is equal to 144 into 10 power 10 joules the third is energy released per fission is equal to 200 million electron volt that is 200 into 10 power 6 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 that is equal to 3.2 into 10 power minus 11 joules the fourth step is number of atoms fissioned per hour that is equal to 144 into 10 power 10 that is in joule that is energy received per hour divided by 3.2 into 10 power minus 11 that is equal to 45 into 10 power 21 the fifth step is 1 gram of atom that is 200 uranium 235 gram has 6.023 into 10 power 23 atoms therefore mass of uranium fission per hour is equal to 235 into 45 into 10 power 12, 21 divided by 6.023 into 10 power 23 that is equal to 17.56 grams so the mass of uranium fission per hour is equal to 17.56 grams problem 3 a 80 megawatt steam power plant uses coal of calorific value 6400 kilocalories per kg thermal efficiency of the station is 30 percentage and electrical efficiency is 92 percentage calculate the coal consumption per hour when the station is delivering its full rated output first step we have to find the overall efficiency the electrical efficiency is 92 percentage and the station efficiency is 30 percentage 0.3 into 0.92 that is equal to 0.276 second is units generated per hour that is equal to 80 megawatts that is given 80 into 10 power 3 into hour into 1 hour that is equal to 80 into 10 power 3 kilowatt hour the third step is heat produced per hour that is equal to h is equal to electrical output in heat units divided by overall efficiency here electrical output in heat unit is 80 into 10 power 3 into 860 because 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 860 kilocalories 
that divided by 0.276 that is overall efficiency 80 into 10 power 3 into 860 divided by 0.276 that is equal to 249.28 into 10 power 6 kilocalories therefore coal consumption per hour that is equal to h divided by calorific value calorific value is given 6400 therefore 249.28 into 10 power 6 divided by 6400 that is equal to 38,950 kg the coal consumption per hour is 38,950 kg problem number 4 a thermal power station has an overall efficiency of 0.3 if 0.6 kg of coal is burnt to generate 1 kilowatt hour energy output find the calorific value of coal that is a question energy output is equal to 1 kilowatt hour energy used is equal to energy output divided by efficiency station efficiency is given 0.3 therefore 1 by 0.3 is equal to 3.33 kilowatt hour which is in kilowatt hour we have to convert into kilo calories we know that 1 watt is equal to 1 by 4.2 calories therefore energy used in kilo calories is equal to 3.33 into 3600 divided by 4.2 that is equal to 2854.29 kilocalories. Since the coal burnt for 1 kilowatt hour output is 0.6 kg, therefore calorific value of coal is equal to energy used divided by 0.6 that is 2854.29 divided by 0.6. So the calorific value of coal is equal to 4757.15 kilocalories per kg problem number 5 a diesel power station has the following data number 1 fuel consumption per day is equal to 1000 kg units generated per day is equal to 5000 kilowatt hour calorific value of fuel is equal to 10000 kilocalories per kg Alternator efficiency is equal to 96 percentage. Engine mechanical efficiency is equal to 95 percentage. Estimate number one specific fuel consumption. Specific fuel consumption is equal to fuel consumption per day in divided by units generated per day. That is 1000 divided by 5000. That is equal to 0 0.2 kg per kilowatt hour. Heat produced by fuel per day that is equal to fuel consumption per day into calorific value that is 1000 into calorific value of fuel is given 10,000 1000 into 10,000 that is equal to 10 power 7 kilocalories Electrical output in heat units per day this is in kilocalories so we have to convert this is 5000 this is unit generated per day in kilowatt hour Therefore, 5000 into 860 that is equal to 430 into 10 power 4 kilocalories. Therefore, overall efficiency, the second is overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is equal to electrical output in heat units per day divided by heat produced by fuel per day that is 430 into 10 power 4 divided by 10 power 7 that is into 100 that is equal to 43 percentage. Therefore, the overall efficiency is 43 percentage. The third is thermal efficiency of engine. So, here engine efficiency is equal to overall efficiency divided by alternator efficiency. Alternator efficiency is given 96 percentage. Therefore, 43 divided by 0.96 that is equal to 44.79. So, the engine efficiency is 44.79. Thermal efficiency of engine is equal to engine efficiency divided by Mechanical efficiency of the engine. Mechanical efficiency of the engine is given 95 percentage. Therefore, 44.79 divided by 0.95 that is equal to 47.15 percentage. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.